Hey guys, it's Joe B and I'm here with the Mach 1. I'm putting the doors back on, but before I did that I wanted to use some sound deadener so I could keep the outside sound out, especially the exhaust and the inside sound of the radio and stuff in. It's also good for temperature. So I had asked around and a good friend of mine had suggested this rattle trap. So I ordered some rattle trap. This stuff, 25 square feet. And it came with a little kit too, which is part of why it was so attractive. I got the roller, which the roller would have been like, uh, I don't know, $5.99, $6.99 on Amazon. And it came with a little blade, which you may or may not need, but it's nice to have those. And I got the sticker and a little instruction sheet. So, the first thing I did was took it out, and the back is kind of like tar. So I laid it out. I laid it out in the sun so that it could get a little bit more pliable and not be so stiff. And that's going to be big if you're in a colder climate. So I laid it out. And then, yes, you should do it with the door off because this was a pain. I slid it in to the window slot here. And once it was in, I rolled up that side a little bit. And this side, I pushed it down. And then I lifted the whole thing with my right hand. I went under and pulled the, the corner. And then I used my fingers to unroll it all out, pulled the whole thing, unrolling it as I went. And using my hands to push it into the grooves here of the door. Now it went almost all the way. I don't know if you can see, you could probably see it farther than I can. Almost all the way down to the bottom of the door. Now they claim that you don't have to cover every square inch with this. So there's a little gap right up here. From here to here. That's at the top of the door, okay. And then down there, uh, there's a whole couple inches. It's not that bad. So I unrolled it, unrolled it. So as we're looking, that's the, that's the bottom of the door that way. And then this up toward me is the top. And I had slid the rattle trap in that way. And you can see it right in here now. It's very sticky. It's like tar. Very, very tough glue in there. Looks really nice. Feels nice. Uh, this is like a, like a metallic, almost like an aluminum foil, except maybe a little bit more sturdy. As I was pressing it down, I then would use this and I was going with the grooves in order to get it all really stuck well onto this surface. And I, of course, wiped the surface down with a, a, a damp uh, microfiber or it was just a, a shop towel, but just wiped it down to make sure there was no dust and dirt on there. And it's sticking really well now. So that's one door with the rattle trap on it. And I will now put it on the car and that way I can put the handle and the window regulator and all the stuff back on it. This is Joe B with the Mach 1. I just wanted to give you a tip on the 25 square feet of rattle trap. Oh, the 25 square feet, real quick. That was one sheet. I got one more sheet over there. And then I had... Let's see. One, two, three more sheets. So that was five sheets. So each sheet five square feet. One, two, three, three by five, two by five. So four is five square feet. Well, you know what I mean. One and a half by whatever that multiple is. Each sheet is quite five square feet. I'm not mathing this morning. Uh, this is Joe B. Probably going to use the other one on the other door and then the other three sheets up there on the roof of the car. All right, getting back to work. We'll see you.